Hi guys, it's me Meat Poppin. I'm going to make uh well this is just a simple way we're just watching the story because it is some amazing move this freaking game. He was chill, owning the bot lane, life is freaking cool, dazzling people, breaking his jam in their faces, sounds nasty, but that is what he freaking did. But he roamed to the mid lane and I was like, wow, what is Tarek doing in the mid lane? Well, we did our stuff. Nice Tarek, good Tarek, but then again, then he's level 6. And you're gonna be like, what is a level 6 star is going to do in the mid lane against a weak twisted fate? Well, you're gonna see right now. He flashes in, ult him, auto attack between every ability, W, life is good. And you're gonna be like, whoa, well, that's not it. He was a master bait. Right now, he is baiting bot. And you're gonna be like, how can he be baiting bot? He's stunned, MF ulted, he flashed. That's not a bait. Well, look at this. Vay thinks he can kill him. It's a bad bait. But, oh, oh. Now it's an interesting bait. You, you see what I'm talking about? I mean, he could not save everybody, but when he's there, somebody is gonna die, you know? I was like, hey, thank you, man. I was watching him more than I was watching myself, you know? I'm Ramus. Look at me rolling. I couldn't hit the Mundo because I was so flabbergasted by this guy. Like, hey, man, this guy's interesting. He's playing one of my favorite champions when I started playing in Season 1. Look at him, Flash going in, bada beam, bada boom. It's just spinning, just going, baiting, and Mundo was like, wait, whoa, what? Weren't you going after the bot? And Tarek was like, no, man, I'm humble. I'm a nice guy now. I already own my lane. I'm gonna stun this bot out of the ult of MF because I'm a nice guy. But anyway, as you can see, things are going very interesting in this situation. People are dying, MF is gone, and you're thinking like, oh, man. He should maybe die between these people, but he's level 10. Stuns, AP, you can do your damage. He's tanky. He's holding up. I'm right there to follow it up. Joshua is there to follow it up. Bart is like, oh my god, I'm getting out of here. And yes, we all went after him. I got excited. I even flashed with his Bart. I didn't need to, but hey, it's fun. And Tarek's like, go get my assist, babies. I trust you. I believe you, I love you, just call me daddy, and I don't mind calling him daddy, he was so good, and when Echo thought he was a boss, it was like, stop, hammer time, life is cool, did, oh my god, wow man, I, I'm right, even Raven came to the party, like, I wanna go in, and look at them, everybody going, Tauric is the only one to not getting stunned, I wish you could learn to play like this Tauric, not KSing 24-7, I mean, come on, man. Look at him. He's baiting the vein again. Vein is like, yo, we got this. And we all went there to, for the defense. Well, actually, Yoshua died. But hey, you know, who cares about that? Tarek got his assist. That is his mission. He was there whenever he wanted to be. At least he never KS because I did it for him. But life was good. Mundo, Tarek. Actually, no, man. That's two Mundos. Yes. Look at him tanking, tanking more than Mundo could tank. He was, it, it, it's surprising. I didn't know Tarek can do all these things. Staying there, be a man, giving extra armor, and then he's gonna ult, giving extra AD. Everybody is happy, and you're gonna be like, oh, he might die if Vayne come by, right? Right? No, he will never die, because this is Tarek. Fukun Goken Tarek. He was cool. Oh my god, he was humble. He didn't even get the word. He was like, you know what? You can have it. You can have the vision. You know what? You can have my MF, you know? Oh my god, you just kill him. I'll just come by and finish you off. Oh, well, now you have a turtle soup. Yes, he sacrificed my life, but for my daddy, I'll do anything. So look at him. One kill for Yoshiba, one kill for... Well, actually, now it's a two kill, so one for one is two. Mundo flash like a boss. Well, now he's gonna dash. He's gonna die flashly. Nice. And that's what's gonna happen. He was always there. Oh, you're gonna un go you're gonna, gonna go on MF. I'm stuttering. What the heck is happening? Oh no. MF is freaking thank you. Mungo's like, oh, why are you not dying, you stupid two-bit woman? And no, he wasn't dying. I was trying to help. Everybody came to the mid. It's a silver tactic. Five people suddenly appear playing ARAM. And yes, yeah, stuff happens. But look at this story. Kiting, not staying in between like this Raven, and Mav is getting two kills, you're like, whoa, and then stunning the Echo at the right time, and then, whoo, look at this bot, he got scared, ulted the wrong person, and he's like, I'm out of here, he left the black air, but the point is, Tarek is OP, he flashed whenever he wants, he's freaking OP, stunning people, oh my freaking god, oh, Yashi was following up like a boss, because he felt safe. I'm protecting him. No, don't touch my daddy. Of course I will protect him. I love this guy. I was in their faces. 
Don't touch my daddy. What's up? And life was good, man. Oh, man, man, man. But when daddy wasn't there, they would go crazy. I had to flash Edith's vein because she thought she was double lift. Then I had to hit the black man. And I'm a black man. But you know, Tariq was there because Tariq was always there for the ladies in Israel. Always. He will protect you if you're nice and if you call him daddy and that is what was happening in this situation echo came i call daddy and he stunned him life was good as simple as that joshua went in his engage wasn't the best and he said hey daddy show me how you do it and he went in and he stunned and life was good so what would i say call him daddy daddy will save you